Hello students, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read unit number 5, a poem from Oxford Reading Circle 6. Students, the title of the poem is Al Dorado. Students, uh, do you have an idea about Al Dorado? El Dorado is a fabled city in South America, rich in treasure and sought by Spanish explorers. First of all, I'll tell you about the poem. What is the summary of the poem? So, we start our lesson. El Dorado is a poem by Edgar Allan Poe that has a serious message to readers. The poet tells us about a knight who travels for a period of his life searching for a city of gold, El Dorado. The knight is full of hope and in good spirits to find out the golden city. But on the way, he met someone or something, a pilgrim, shadow. This shadow indicates that night is getting closer to death. The poem reflects the true personality of the poet himself. Poe himself started life full of hope and good spirits because he was on a mission to find happiness, fame and riches. Now come to the exercises. A. Questions 1. How was the knight dressed? Answer. The knight was dressed in rich and bright clothes. 2. How do we know the knight had traveled some distance in different conditions? Give references from the poem. Answer. The knight had traveled far and wide can be seen from the expressions had journeyed long in sunshine and the shadow. 3. What is the theme of this poem? Answer. The theme of the poem is about searching for something tirelessly and without losing hope. The poem talks about the struggles that one faces in their quest and the importance of staying persistent. 4. Which phrase tells us that the knight became despondent? Answer. Or his heart a shadow fell. 5. In your opinion, why was the knight looking for El Dorado? Answer. The knight was looking for El Dorado because he wanted to find out if it was a real place after all. He also wanted the glory and fame of being the first person to find the mythical place. 6. What part do the shadows play in the story? Think carefully. Answer. Shadows are used to indicate changing time, which shows a long journey, than to indicate the sadness and hopelessness the knight felt on his vain quest, than to describe the pilgrim he met, finally to indicate the futility of trying to find a mythical place like El Dorado. B. Reference to Context Read these lines from the poem and then answer the questions. 1. But he grew old, this knight so bold. A. How and when does the knight grow old? What does this tell us apart from the fact that he is aging? Answer. He grew old while traveling to look for El Dorado. This also tells us that El Dorado doesn't really exist and is therefore impossible to find. B. In what way is the knight bold? Which other word in the poem tells us he is bold? Answer. 
He was traveling alone through unknown lands, ready to face danger, gallant knight. See, how does he feel at this point? Answer, sad and hopeless. Two, he met, he met a pilgrim shadow. A, when does he meet this pilgrim shadow? Answer, he met the pilgrim shadow as he became weak and discouraged in his quest for El Dorado. B. What is a pilgrim and in what way is the knight like a pilgrim? Answer, a pilgrim is a traveler to a holy land for some religious purpose. The knight was traveling in search of El Dorado. C. What does the knight ask the pilgrim shadow and what answer does he get? Answer. Where El Dorado could be, that he may find it over the mountains of the moon or down the valley of shadow. I. Nowhere. C. Words and meaning. 1. A knight is a nobleman. In Britain, a knight is given the title, Sir, do you know the names of any famous people who were given this title? Answer. Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan, Sir Isaac Newton, Sir Dr. Muhammad Iqbal. 2. Put these in order of rank, starting with the lowest. Answer. Knight, Baron, Duke, Prince, King. B. Private, Captain, Major, Colonel, Brigadier, General, Field Marshal. C. Lieutenant, Commander, Captain, Rear, Admiral, Vice, Admiral, Admiral, Commander. D. Pilot Officer, Flying Officer, Squadron Leader, Group Captain, Wing Commander, Air Marshal. C. Use these words in sentences of your own. A. Shade, the traveler lay down under the shade of a tree. B. Shadow, there was no shadow or footprints even though I seemed to be standing on grass. C. Darkness. From the darkness of the room, he could hear a voice. D. Gloom. The news of sudden death of Prince cast a gloom over the whole empire. E. Dusk. Dusk was falling and we decided to return to our home. F. Light. They decorated the dance stage with bright and colorful lights. G. Glow. The sun had set and the bright moon made the sand glow like snow. H. Luminous. My father gifted me a watch and my watch has a luminous dial. I. Radiance. At the time of his first achievement in experiment, his face glowed with radiance. J. Illumination When there was darkness everywhere, the only illumination came from a small lamp. 4. Explain these expressions. A. Failed him. Answer. Not be enough. Prove disappointing or inadequate. B. Gaily, in a bright, attractive and cheerful way. C. At length, after a long, considerable time having elapsed. D. Journeyed long, travelled for a long time and over great distance. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.